Hello, everyone. Uh, could you hear me? Okay, so um, I want to um, uh, let you know we have uh, several um, have you seen? Uh, okay, the first uh, I want to let you know that is um, the spring break will be uh, next week, uh, March 16th and March 22nd. So we are not going to have any class during the spring break. I hope you will enjoy your break and uh, have good rest. Uh, okay, this week uh, we are going to talk about the um we are going to read chapter eight so we go to uh, the model and we log into our course portal and we will see um this week uh we have uh chapter eight read the textbook chapter eight and uh, do quiz eight so each quiz um will have 20 questions that could be a multiple choice true or false or uh sc short answer or sc questions okay it's 10 point and also you need to post a uh, discussion forum for uh, the first part is due by Thursday and the second part you have uh, two replies by a Sunday. So as what I mentioned before, uh, in your uh, replies, it's important to include the substantial contents uh, the substantial contents, I mean, uh, those questions are related to uh, the discussion topic. It's not like uh, you just greeting each other. Yes? Do you have any question? No. Uh, qu uh, 11? Hello? Okay, no questions. Okay, good. So um, this uh, chapter we can see uh, we have the uh, quiz uh, forum eight uh, case study. So you can click on that. Okay, uh, so you click on that. Uh, that's the keys uh, you can see uh, this week. And the keys is um, is about the Gulf real estate property. Okay, the Gulf real estate property, and they have um, the data, okay, the data below. So I also compile all the data in Excel spreadsheet. You can see every, Every time you can see we have a uh, the form data in Excel format as an attachment to this uh, discussion forum. So the goal of that is all the outcome you need to do is uh, to prepare a manager report. Okay, uh, use that appropriate descriptive statistics to summarize each of these three variables for the 40 uh, golf wheel uh, condominiums. So that's uh, uh, the, the job or the discussion topic. So basically you have one until seven or different topics. Okay. Uh, so when we go back to, and you will see uh, there is an uh, Excel file is called uh, data. So you have uh, the data also available, okay, and 
So for this chapter, so we are going to talk about uh, remember. So uh, we have um, uh, two different type of um, uh, data. Uh, basically, uh, is uh, uh, time series data, and also we have uh, panel data. So that's the major uh, two major types of data analysis we uh, we need to uh, undertake when do forecasting. So the chapter eight uh, talking about the data uh, time series analysis. Okay, this is a uh, very important uh, in business statistics. So what is uh, time series data? So the time uh, series uh, data analysis basically uh, include the chain analysis and the seasonal pattern. So or they have the chain and the seasonal pattern together or cyclical uh, pattern. So the time series data, uh, before we do time series data, I highly recommend uh, you use that data and uh, to have a, a graph, okay? So when you have the data, you type in all the data in Excel spreadsheet and you um, graph the data. So you can have a pretty uh, intuitive region about how the data looks like. For example, the, this one, the, uh, the gasoline cells. So it's more likely it's uh, going to be a horizontal data. Right. And then you have um, uh, this type of data. So you can see uh, the data, what pattern it is. So different types of pattern, right? So you have, uh, okay, the uh, figure three is uh, the bicycle cells. So you can see the price going up uh, during the particular season. Also, they have upward trend. Okay, this one is a pretty obvious that it's going to be the upward trend. So once you have that data in your mind, so figure out so what is the uh, the trend, and what is uh, is that data has any seasonal effect? Okay. Um, so we uh, do forecasting. So forecasting is um, is doing the uh, time series data. So when you have the, for example, uh, the data for uh, the previous several week and you wanted to forecast the value for next uh, several weeks, for example, this one. So uh, you get to the forecast, okay, the column which is the forecast value, and then you compare uh, the forecast error. So how to calculate the forecast error? So we have the absolute value of the forecast error, and also we have a squared forecast error, and a percentage error, and absolute value of the percentage error. So you have, um, different types of error. So once we have the, uh, the forecast error, so we wanted to minimize the forecast error. So to see uh, which uh, one is uh, making most accurate uh, forecast. Okay, there are different uh, type of errors. So in that popcorn slide, you can see, right? Okay, so uh, we how we do forecast. Okay, the forecast we typically use uh, is the called the moving average. Uh, we're using a simple moving average. Sometimes you're choosing uh, five days. Sometimes you're choosing a month or three months. So this is a very common when you do a financial analysis. So the moving average. Uh, is a very uh, useful. And also there are another type of uh, method is called exponential smoothing. So the 
boss, they give you a good estimate of the future value. Okay, so uh, let's see in this graph. So the uh, the original sales of the data is in blue. So up and down is more volatile. And when you using moving average, so the line you estimate is a black line is more smooth. And so that's uh, uh, how you estimate. So uh, you can do using Excel. So whenever we have a uh, practical question, we can use uh, Excel. The Excel, when you click on data analysis, uh, you can see there is a choice as called the moving average. So later on, I will show you how to get the uh, data analysis uh, um, button. Okay, so the data analysis, so you choose that uh, moving average. Okay, so uh, also you can do um, uh, as, uh, exponential smoothing. So the exponential smoothing is also available in data analysis. So you have the dialog box and then you choose that exponential smoothing. Uh, so when you do exponential smoothing, you need to, uh, to set your dumping factor. Okay, right here, for example, in this case using 0 0.8. So uh, set your dumping factor. This is a number, the dumping factor is uh, uh, above zero, but below one. Okay, and the most uh, useful one we, we can do is using regression uh, for analysis. So the regression is uh, very popular. So when you have Excel and click on the data analysis tab, so you can use a, a regression. Once you find the uh, regression uh, in, and you will come out with the forecasting result, okay, the result is going to be a summary output, including regression statistics, ANOVA table, right? So uh, I will show you later how to get this uh, regression and data analysis tab, okay? Uh, so the regression is uh, very useful and you can uh, use in the regression analysis for, for uh, forecasting. So how to determine the best uh, forecasting model? So basically uh, what I talked about before is we wanted to have uh, to minimize the forecast error. So the, the smaller the error is, the better the model effect. Okay, now I open an Excel and to show you how to get the uh, data analysis tab. Okay, as it begins, you can see the data right here. So when you click on data, you see there's uh, no data analysis. Uh, there's uh, no regression rate, anything. Okay, so now you have to do is you click on file and you go to option. Okay, and click on add in. Okay, add in. And you scroll down, uh, scroll down. Okay, and so you say uh, Excel add in as a goal. Okay, so you click on that. Okay, okay, good. So uh, now you can see the dialog box popping out. The add in, so you, you click on the Analysis two pack, okay. So you have uh, other thing, for example, silver, and you can click on that. Okay, click on OK. Okay. Okay. Now you can see. Okay, when you click on, okay, this is data, right? When you click on data, you can see you have data analysis tab added to it and also you have a silver right so you that is that you have to do that 
By default, the Excel does not come with a data analysis tab. So you click on the data analysis. Okay, so uh, you can see you have the moving average, exponential smoothing, right? And then you have a uh, regression. Okay, so all those data analysis uh, uh, function is available right now. Okay, so if you do regression, you can click on OK, or you know, say they have uh, where you can select the data and and set up the uh, confidence interval or something like that. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoy the seminar today and. Okay, do you have any questions? Okay, good, uh, that's all for today. That's all for today, and then uh, have a have a great uh, break. Okay, see you. Okay, I will let you know uh, our next meeting. I think uh, pretty much in early April. Okay, I will uh, I will post. We'll post it on Moodle, okay?